Pizza Express, we'll speak with Karen at our delivery. The process of opening the store, uh, the very first Pizza Express, uh, took about, let's see, we kind of conceived the idea in, in, uh, in the fall and had it open by the next fall. So it was about a year in, in the process. I think the location for our original store uh, has been a really important part of our success. Um, the fact that we're within about a three minute drive of just about the entire uh, IU campus where, where kids live um, gives us a really big edge over competitors. I think being in Bloomington, um, especially being a big college town as it is, um, affects our business greatly. Um, things going on in Bloomington, such as sporting events or um, other events going on with IU, greatly affects our uh, um, business as the year goes on. In the current pizza scene in Bloomington, we've got our chain competitors, which are Papa John's and Domino's and Pizza Hut, big national, international companies. Um, we think of them as competitors because we, like we like to just go after them and we love to compete with big, hulking, out-of-town companies and we love to beat them. Uh, we've got another level of uh, what most people might think of as competitors, but we tend to think more as sort of compatriots. And that's, that's all the other pizza places in Bloomington that are, that are locally owned and kind of unique. There's Avers, there's Mother Bears, um, are probably the two, two biggest ones. We get our ingredients mainly from our commissary. Um, the commissary is the um, pretty much our provider for most of our vegetables and um, sauces and they make our own dough uh, daily. Um, I think that kind of separates us from other pizza places in Bloomington. The most common order placed here would be a big big bargain, pepperoni, sticks with cheese and ranch for the ladies of course, they love the ranch sauce, and then uh, Coke, Diet Coke, lemonade, Mr. Kid, we got all that. But I definitely say it's a big part of pepperoni, sticks with cheese. That's a big one. I'm not supposed to say uh, things like, no, I don't think we have the best pizza in town. I personally do. I'm not biased at all, believe me. I go to other pizza places all the time, um, a lot of places in town, um, just because I like pizza. But at the same time, I really do think we have the best pizza in town. I've been in our commissary. I know that they make our food fresh every day um, according to what we order. Um, so I'd say we have the best pizza in town. Um, we don't like to skimp on things and go light. The challenge is how do we grow this company in such a way that we don't get into the same trap that I feel like all our competitors are in. If we believe in, uh, in the concept of local business um, uh, and we're really good at it, then, then we're in a position that maybe we could teach other people and help them um, create the same kind of thing uh, um, somewhere else. Uh, because we, we, we know how to do this. If we go and do it in another place, then we sort of become part of the problem. So really, I think um, in the end, it serves our human nature to be able to become our own brands, to, to start something and build it that at the end of the day, we have control of. Um, and we can sell it or kill it or, or uh, expand it, whatever we want to do but we aren't dependent on, on somebody else.